friend of mine, he bought the car last week. He had a C C55 before that. And he wanted to buy a Corvette or a, or a Lotus. I'm like, well, the difference is quite big. Yeah. We're like, yeah, well, those are the car, two cars that I want in life. So I'm like, all right. That's a nice traffic jam, but it's full of Porsches and Porsches are quite regular and uh, not boring on track, but a very common sight around the Nürburgring. However, in today's video, look what we have here. A GT... No, wait. Confused. You make your own judgments. Come on guys, the speed limit is in like, what, 30? 50, like, the track is literally one minute down the road. It's a bit too much. Anyway, uh, CTS V, third gen of Gabor. Yes. I, I'll be doing video exception, vlog exception. I vlog you, you vlog me, okay, and then they kissed. <laughs> I'm super excited to have this car on the channel because it's something different, as mentioned, and I know nothing about it. So I'm sure like every US car, it has a V8. Yes. Probably supercharger or something yes. on it. It's basically, okay. it's a four-door Corvette C7. Okay. Z06. Okay. Nice, nice. Except the Corvette has 10 more horsepower and Ooh. 10 more uh, the fifth feet, po yeah, foot pounds talk. Right. So this is like what, 600? 649. 649 yeah, horsepower. 650 horsepower and 855 newton. Wow. All on the rear wheels. Yes. Wow. Almost brand new rear wheels. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. It was quite good. So we are on the Michelin PS4S yes. tires, right? The brakes stock or? The brakes, uh, stock the brake pads are from uh, Extreme Performance from America. So carbon mix something. okay yeah almost new tires so that's good it's fully stock did you have to import this car because i assume no. they were not sold no, this here this is a european car really yes yeah, first uh, owner was geiger cars oh okay well okay that that, that, that explains it they're like importer of the but, but these cars wait for specific for the eu market okay they're like no side markers and stuff very curious to find out how it is what it is yeah let's go let's go let's not waste any more time there's blah, a bit blah. of traffic down there ah well, well we'll be fine we'll be fine we have air conditioning and leather seats yes
bought the car last week. He had a C C55 before that, and he wanted to buy a Corvette or a or a Lotus. I'm like, well, the difference is quite big. Yeah. We're like, yeah, well, those are the car two cars that I want in life. So I'm like, all right. Yeah, for me, it was a change also. Big. I had MK Super before this. Oh, okay. Twin turbo manual.
made it. Yeah. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> Glad you liked it. <laughs> and how do you like it? Heavy? Yes. And the brakes are uh, can be a lot better. And it uh, like the pads are just like too soft. Yeah, it's like they, they really uh, do not work as they should. Uh, let's call it that way, as they can, because uh, based on the caliper sizes, this was a bit. Yeah, it uh, it was very underperforming. We had to go early on the brakes with lots of sections, uh, but overall the emotions, of course, there is and it's definitely something different than a M5. <laughs> it's uh, fast enough but as you can see the weight and the brakes the golf uh, behind us it was like it was a uh, way probably, lighter yeah lighter and uh, therefore uh, definitely faster but it's still uh, still good fun I'm happy that we made it yeah, this is mostly daily daily driven car mm -hmm. not for racetrack for me yeah yeah no that makes absolutely sense awesome thank you so much it was, uh, it was no fun. problem hope you hope you enjoyed maybe tomorrow I try again All right, everything's cool down yeah sounds good <laughs>